Now, there is uncertainty over the status of Iran's morality police, which enforces its dress code after a senior official suggested that it had been disbanded. Uh, when asked about the guidance patrol at a conference, Attorney General Mohammad Jafar Motazeri uh, said they have been shut down from where they were set up. However, the government did not confirm the move, and local media reported that his remarks had been misinterpreted. A reminder, it was the death of a woman detained by the force that sparked nationwide protests. Masa Amini collapsed and fell into a coma shortly after being arrested in Tehran in September. There were reports that morality police officers beat her head with a baton. The police said she suffered a heart attack. Anti-government protests swept across Iran after Ms. Amini died in hospital a few days after her arrest. And today, shopkeepers have shut down their shops in dozens of Iranian cities, the first of three days of action, including national strikes against the government. Well, let's speak with BBC Persians Baran Abbasi. And uh, Baran, thank you so much for joining us here on the program. Just first of all, has the morality p police been disbanded? Because there is so much confusion about what was said and what wasn't said. Exactly. There's a lot of uncertainty even inside Iran about whether it's been scrapped or not. The prosecutor general... Um, the comments he made seems to have been an impromptu answer to a question asked during a press conference rather than a, an announcement of a policy that um, has been uh, made uh, before a change of uh, uh, the rules. Um, and remember, he's not in charge of the uh, enforcement of the uh, morality police. He's not char in charge of observing them. Uh, the Interior Ministry and the police itself has not made any comments. And uh, another fact is that the um, compulsory hijab uh, rule has been in, in force in Iran for over 40 years. And morality police has only been around for about 20 years. And other um, in law enforcement bodies have been in charge of enforcing it for um, since the early days of the uh, years of the revolution. So even if they are removed from the streets, other uh, law enforcement bodies could take over from there. And that's the point, uh, isn't it? It's not just one force. We're talking about regular police. We're, we're talking about the Basij. We're talking about the Revolutionary Guard, the, the regular army. There are many, many factions and groups and, and security forces that could enforce, even if the morality police are abolished. Exactly. There's, it's very unlikely that uh, the regime itself would totally abolish this rule. It's part of its identity. It's part of its existence. And and um, the fact that uh, there have been um, different bodies enforcing it and uh, whether um, the morality police have been, uh, the fact that they haven't been um, seen around in, on the streets a lot is because um, the whole security forces of Iran have been recently focused on uh, cracking down on protesters. Uh, but recently we um, have reports that morality police are back on the streets in some small towns outside of Iran. Also, uh, some people who, uh, who've been attending an amusement park, for example, have been arrested for not observing the, um, the Islamic dress code. So. Oh. I mean, um, we're seeing a lot of women do that, aren't we, across... The, uh, I mean, it's so extraordinary, brave and rare to see them walking around the streets without their hijabs. Exactly. It's, uh, it's very hard to imagine that uh, after having done that and ha uh, after having crossed this line, they would go back to what it was um, before the uh, protest. You see a lot of women um, in very religious cities like Mashhad and Qom, cities uh, that were not even allowed to hold music conferences, uh, um, concerts, sorry. Uh, now you see women uh, not observing their hijab. But um, it cannot uh, be interpreted as a change of policy by the government. It might carry on and the government might be lenient, lenient for uh, some time, but it doesn't mean that it's been scrapped altogether. Baran, thank you so much for bringing